<laughs> British billionaire Richard Branson has big plans for the Colombian border town of Cucuta. He says his goal is to raise money for food and medical supplies and ultimately get it across the border to Venezuela. Meanwhile, the everyday struggle for locals goes on. Many cross the border here regularly to pick up desperately needed supplies. They are hoping to see change soon. We want to be free. We want to be able to cross the border. We want freedom and the government to fall. It's what we all want. And elections so we can have a new president. Some, however, have lost all hope and are taking extreme measures, describing how it feels to be leaving their country for good. Right now I'm sad. This is degrading for a human being, very degrading. President Nicolas Maduro is also taking extreme measures. He sees any attempt to bring in aid as a pretext for military intervention. On Thursday, he closed the country's border with Brazil and said he was also considering closing the frontier with Colombia. A complete closure of the border with Colombia. I'm considering that. If it's best for a man to be prepared, it's even better for a nation to be prepared. That could make things tricky for opposition leader and self-proclaimed president Juan Guaido. He left his home in Caracas on Thursday to make the 800-kilometre journey to the Colombian border. He and thousands of his supporters are promising to bring US aid into the country, but he's not yet explained how they plan to do it. Meanwhile, back at the border, just across the river from Cucuta, President Maduro is organising his own concert on Venezuelan soil. Let's get more now. We are joined by DW's Jennifer Camino Gonzalez. Um, so. Jennifer, tell us, what does each side hope to achieve with the concerts on the border with Colombia? Well, for Richard Branson's side, it's about um, raising funds, raising awareness, and supporting this uh, push to bring aid through Venezuela. But for Maduro, it's to counter that. He wants to counter this message. He wants to say, oh, look, I can also stage a concert. I can also bring my people as well. And, and to sort of battle, as you say, with public opinion as well. But we haven't received a lot of details from the, from the Maduro side about what this concert entails, who's going to be in it. And so, but we have received a lot of information about the other concert. So it'll be interesting to see both play out and just how the government tries to compete with with the Richard Branson, uh, which is which is, which is a Richard Branson concert, which is going to be huge. So I mean that's the situation on the border, but let's talk about what's going on in the country itself because Maduro's government has been preventing aid from entering yes. the country. Um, it has shut the border with Brazil, as we know. Talk with us a little bit more about the current humanitarian situation in Venezuela. Well, the situation is dire, in particular with the with the situation of a uh, shortage of medicines. People don't have medicines. Uh, all of the hospitals, the public hospitals, are, are collapsed. People can't get basic things such as syringes. And many many people say that when they have problems and they go to the hospital, they have to bring their own medicines, and and that is quite the critical issue. In fact, in San Cristobal, a city that is near Cucuta, a group of uh, doctors got together to denounce the situation and say that they want the humanitarian and aid to come in because this, it's very dire, but it's also a, a shortage of food. It, it is really, really difficult for people right now. So that is the question. Are people going to see Maduro closing off the, the or borders to this aid and say, no, we want this aid and then rise up? That is what Juan Guaido is hoping. How much support does he have, Guaido? Well, international support, he has plenty. Um, in Venezuela, of course, what the opposition is, the opposition is completely behind him. And, and we know that some elements of the army, some, some higher, not, not so many higher ranking officers have gone to him, but some support has, has broken. But the needle has really not pushed uh, enough. And, and so he, he really needs to build more support. He needs to rally the population. But it's difficult. It's difficult because right. the army is still standing behind them. And so we shall see what happens if that can change this weekend. Jennifer Camino Gonzalez, thank you. Thank you.